Welcome back to another edition of Fly Tying with Jim Mishura. Today I'm going to tie a dry fly, and this is going to be a hare's ear parachute dry. The hook that I have in the vise, really nice hooks. This is a Maruto. It is a D04, size 16. And these are really, uh, really sharp hooks. I, I like these. I use these on all my flies that I use. But the, you could get these from Frosty Fly. That's the only place I know that you could get them. But Maruto hooks from Frosty Fly. I'm going to use black Hemingway Twisted Thread 8 Ot. And we're going to put a base thread down halfway. And then we're going to come back half of that. And that's where we're going to put our wing post. And the wing post is para post. And I have a piece of white here. I actually have it folded in half. That's fine. I'm going to trim off the top anyway. We're going to secure that right there. Yeah, trim off that excess and kind of make a taper. Doesn't matter a real lot. We're going to be using hair's ear dubbing. And we're going to bring that back for the tail. And our tail is going to be, I'm just going to use pheasant tail center. So I'm just going to take a small bunch of them, maybe a half a dozen. And we'll try to get those tips aligned. There we go. We'll make the tail just about the length of the shank. Then we could wrap that up, remove that excess, and we're going to need a rib for your gold rib, and this is a uh, gold wire. It is a fine gold wire, not an extra fine, but a fine. And we'll put that in. Whoop! And it slipped. Not a big deal. We'll just reattach as we're going back. And the hair's ear dubbing, or the hair's dubbing, is going to be a Hemingway hair's dubbing. And this is a darker tan colored. And we're not going to need a lot. Make a little bit of moisture on my fingers. Took out way too much. Yeah, just put a little bit more on there. For right now, remember you can always add more. So go, go small with the dubbing. And we're going to wrap this. And I'm going to actually come in front of the wing post. And I'm going to take my rib. And I got one wild one up here. It's getting in the way. We're going to take the rib and we're going to wrap that. And I'm going to tie that off in front of the wing post. You don't want a real lot of rib wraps 
you know, three, four max because you're adding weight to the hook shank. Then we'll go ahead and remove that. And we're going to take our hackles and I'm going to use a natural grizzly and a brown grizzly. I gave them the haircut already. And we're going to tie them in right from in front of the eye. And when we get to the wing post, we're going to go up the wing post with it. And you can just hold on to the wing post there to make sure that you don't pull it off. It's one of the reasons I made it a little bit longer on the wing post. And we'll come up just a bit and go back down. And I'm going to put just a tad bit more of the dubbing on there. Yeah, get a little bit more in front. Finish it right there at the wing post. We already have a little bit of a head there. I'm going to take my hackles and I like to fold them down there first. And that gives you a, a little easier wrapping. Again, you can hold that wing post if you got it so you can get that tight. And one last wrap. Piece of that tail got caught there. And now I'm going to turn it slightly so I can see. And I want to get under the hackles. Give that three wraps. And we can take our pumpkin snip and remove that excess hackle take our whip finish and again remember you want to get underneath the hackles so we take our whip finish I, I take the X and pull it up to the wing post from underneath Three wraps is good. And again, before we pull the knot tight, I'm going to put some head cement on the left side of my whip finish. And that's the one that's going to get pulled in. And I won't get any glue on my whip finish hook just kind of go a little bit slow let it sink in there take that whip finish if you have any hairs or any hackles that are that you may have caught just take your bodkin and just lift them up and you could kind of bend them into place Now we're just going to cut that wing post to, to the size we want. You can leave it high, like the length of the hook shank. Or you can make it short, a shorter button. Leave that one about there. That's just about the size of the hook shank. And here we have a hair's ear parachute hope that you learned something from this video hope that you would subscribe to my channel please refer me to your friends please visit my sponsors and let them know that i sent you leave comments questions suggestions if you'd like to purchase anything from me go to etsy.com shop flash the flyman gym 
And if you don't see it on there, just simply send me a message and I'll get right back to you and we'll figure out what you're looking for. And most of all, thank you very much for watching my videos.